What's going on everyone? I'm Andrew with Camper Kingdom in Meridian, Mississippi, and today we're going to be viewing this 2022 Coachman Catalina Legacy Edition, model 32 BHDS. BH for bunkhouse, DS for dual slide. And right now I've got all the slides closed in to show you what it looks like while going down the road. Some of my viewers always like to know, can they access the restroom as well as the refrigerator without letting the slides out? Maybe you're stopping for fuel at a rest station or just want to know in general, and you definitely have room to access the restroom as well as even the refrigerator without letting either of the two slides out. But we're going to start on the outside of the unit going over the different weights, the specs, and dimensions of the unit before heading inside. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below and let's get started. Coming at you 36 feet, 8 inches in length with two total slides, outdoor kitchen, two air conditioners. This is 2022 Coachman Catalina model 32 bhds bh for bunkhouse ds for dual slide and you can definitely tell the dual slide part here but you got the main living area slide plus the bunkhouse slide for all of your guests dry weight this model currently sits at 7898 pounds and speaking of weight here on the hitch of your truck 896 pounds gross vehicle weight rating how much can this camper possibly weigh once it's fully loaded down with all the holding tanks completely filled of 9000 500 pounds so definitely check to load and tow capacity your truck before purchasing this model here one massive 21 foot all electric awning and coachman's doing something different this year i always talk about all the led lights that are underneath the awnings and these here are multicolor. these can be changed for a variety of different colors from red blue green and i think i put the controller away i did here you go. <laughs> Sorry about that, but you can brighten them up, change the colors, varying from red, blue, green, even yellow, some of the different colors. You take your pick or whatever color you want to have on your outdoor awning there. Solid step entry step. These do flip up and inside the coach. And here's a good shot of some of the outdoor stickers on the outside of the coach here with that nicer big grab handle. Friction hinge on the entry door. That way you don't have to worry about the wind slinging that door closed or open on high wind days. And here's a good shot of some of the exterior storage on the front of the model. Camper's gonna be constructed of a 5.8 plywood. By the way, these are magnetic latches. 5.8 tongue and groove plywood on the floors, 3.8 decking on the roof. Outdoor TV connections, that's what this is right here. Six gallon gas and electric hot water heater. Outdoor speakers up there. And this is going to be the second entry door going directly into the bathroom. That way you're not dumping all the air conditioning out on these hot days when you're at the campground. Kids can go directly in and out the bathroom. And again, you got that friction hinge. That way you're not dumping all the air conditioning out. Pet friendly coach. Leash link. Now we can tie your pets off to the side of the, mo off the model underneath this nice big awning. Outdoor camp kitchen with a griddle. Plumbed sink, that way you're gonna have hot and, more, hot and cold water with a place for it to drain instead of a bowl that you have to pull out and dump. Additional cabinetry up above and below. Outdoor refrigerator. One thing I need to point out, this refrigerator does not work off the vehicle power while going down the road. You must be plugged into shore power in order for that one to work. Coming around to the back of the coach, you're gonna have a luggage rack slash spare tire holder. And whenever you're not utilizing the luggage rack, go ahead and lift it up and it's secured in place with these pins here, keeping it nicely tucked out of the way. Standard size four x four steel bumper, which is a great place to store all of your sewer lines once you're finished with them. Blind side camera prep, that's what that is right there. Those are additional, but we can help provide you with those here at Camper Kingdom. Rack and pinion slide. So both of the slides are on a rack and pinion and there's a good shot of that. But while we're here, sewer connections on this model, you have two different ones. And notice where they're located at right now. Both of the sewer connections kind of found underneath the bedroom slide back here in the back. But gray and black and another gray over there. So two different lines, possibly three different sewer connections, three different sewer hoses needed to run all this in unison with a low point drain found right over here as well. We're going to go ahead and Head inside. Here inside model 32 BHDS, two total slides and only one slide inside the main living area slash kitchen area, opening it up nicely for you to entertain you and all of your guests. Sleeper booth with additional storage underneath and I will open this up and show you all the storage as well as letting this flat closer towards the end of the video. 
jackknife sofa with a pull down hidden kind of cup holder as well and this is only going to be sleeping room maybe for one toddler not really a full-size teenager not too big at all kind of sort of a blackout shade accordion style they're black in color and they've added a valance on both sides of the windows to help try to prevent some of this light from popping its way through ceiling height inside this model of six foot nine so if you're a taller individual maybe one to consider this is definitely a coach for you and your family a family a larger family to grow into all electric stainless steel refrigerator 10.7 cubic foot and this does work off the vehicle power by going down the road but if you're not wanting to utilize some of the battery while the when you're plugged in right over here is just a disconnect switch for the refrigerator it turns it off and on so you're not killing that battery if you don't necessarily need it coming right around to the oven you have a still a stainless steel graystone brand oven with room for maybe a couple of pans of biscuits three eye burner on the top with a massive stainless steel grate and you do have a fold down glass top on the top to extend some of the prepping space on, space on the top as well the countertop is the Flamica type material but I call this a pressed membrane and what that is it's a plastic material that's heated and pressed on top of the Flamica and there's a shot of the Flamica underneath just to show you it some kind of material there but it's just heated and wrapped over the edge to prevent it from swelling Classic drop-in sink with a residential high-rise faucet and you can have these little covers to help again extend the range of your prepping space there as well all wood cabinet doors with a really good amount of storage space all the way throughout and speaking of storage I forgot to show you the main pantry found right over this way here additional storage before heading back into the bunkhouse area maybe could be utilized for a decent sized pantry let me back up and show you what that looks like and that box on the bottom down there is the fuse panel for the coach with an additional 110 outlet as well heading back into the bunkhouse area sleeping room possibly for one two three and of course one over there as well for four nice little entertainment booth with additional storage underneath go ahead and have a seat here closet space these are hanging closets and you'll have it a second additional air conditioner this is a 13.5 coleman mock air conditioner just going to dump all the air right here inside of this room here but you could possibly leave the sliding door open up to allow for better airflow thermostat found on the wall here for that one there and i will get all these opened up closer towards the end to show you how much move around space you're going to have in this model heading into the bathroom area your own private entrance from the outside and this again is that those press membrane countertops with the plastic sink and the plastic faucet carried over to the bathroom two-piece plastic shower and again ceiling height inside the coach of six foot nine and you've got about a 10 inch step up to get into the shower and one thing they started doing new this year is they've done away with all the tubs and their smaller travel trailers of the size just going with more of a stand-in shower with that nice big dome light above plastic sink plastic faucet medicine cabinet provided with a mirror and additional storage there and just look at the amount of leg room you got plastic foot flush toilet and you have tons and tons of removal about space and for all of my taller viewers that are wondering how much headroom you can have i'm six foot two and as you can tell i'm a little bit in the dome but as far as move around space you definitely have ample to move out heading up into the bedroom area but before i do so i feel like i need to point out this all electric fireplace producing around 5,000 btus of electric heat but if you don't camp in the winter you can turn the heat off and just utilize the light to help set the mood for some of your guests that may be lounging inside of this 17 foot living area with just this one slide second slide being back there in the bedroom for a total length on this model of 36 feet 8 inches all the controls for the slide out operations awning operations in the tank monitoring station located right inside the entry door everything nice to read water heater water pump six gallon hot water heater i'm not sure if i ever mentioned that outside but the two slide out operations the awning operation and these are the tank monitoring station even the battery monitoring station are found right here inside the door 50 amp coach with two air conditioners coleman mock is the brand and this is a good sound quality test for you in the last previous video i did i noticed when i was going back to editing that, that the that the medic brand of the air conditioner was just a little not a little but it was a lot louder than the coleman mock brand I'm not sure if you guys can tell the difference when on the video queen size bed with additional storage underneath and you do have a little bit of additional room to upgrade this mattress possibly to a residential size 
if you choose to do so. TV could be mounted on the wall with TV connections and 110 outlet there as well. Blackout shades, accordion style in the bedroom. And these are breeze windows on both sides. Hanging closet, again with a mirror. And just look at how deep that is with that hanging rod there as well. 110 outlet with USB charger on both sides of the bed. That way if you have a CPAP machine, you're covered no matter which side of the bed you decide to sleep on. So now I have it laid out in its full sleeping arrangement to show you guys how much move about space you're gonna have as well as to give you an idea of how big some of these sleeper sofas or sleeper booths could possibly be. In reference to size, maybe five feet across by four feet deep, not quite the size of a twin size mattress, a little bit short, but this one over here could possibly be viewed as though as a full size bed. And I forgot to point out the storage space is found underneath both of the booths. Go ahead and show you there now. But nice big deep storage compartments as well as accessible from the bottom to the top going through or the door going straight in. Heading back to the bunkhouse area, these two mats in reference to size, about the size of a twin size bed, a little bit bigger than the fold down bunk at the top there, but safer and possibly for eight individuals all the way through. Thanks for sticking around this long in the video. I greatly do appreciate it for pricing and availability. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can go back to our website at camperkingdom.com to view all the additional photos. But leave me a comment. Tell me what you guys think of this model. Come see us.